Hey, I'm Connor with Columbia Safety and Supply. And in this video, we're gonna explain some RF hazards found in construction settings, as well as an easy to use solution for managing exposure. Let's begin by briefly explaining exactly what RF radiation is and what dangers it poses. RF or radio frequencies are what's used to transmit wireless information from antennas to our wireless devices. At low levels, such as those transmitted to and from your cell phone, it's not a health risk. However, when radio frequencies are heavily concentrated, as they are directly in front of antenna arrays, dangers are definitely present. RF radiation works much like a microwave oven cooks your food. It creates thermal effects in water-rich materials, such as your skin, and can be particularly damaging to vulnerable organs like the eyes. Worst of all, it's nearly impossible to recognize without some kind of monitor. Symptoms of overexposure may include overheating or redness of the skin which by the time you're noticing those, you've already been overexposed. When you think about who could potentially be exposed to RF radiation, you probably jump straight to telecom technicians, climbing towers, and working in close proximity to cellular antennas. And you would be correct. However, cell towers aren't the only place RF radiation can be found. With the recent deployment of 5G, high-powered small cell antennas are being positioned on the tops and sides of buildings, light posts, and other elevated surfaces. Due to the data requirements and relatively short travel distance of these 5G antennas, they're heavily concentrated in metropolitan areas, which could potentially expose your job site to RF radiation. Contractors and workers alike should be fully aware of these hazards throughout the entire construction process and take the necessary steps to protect themselves, starting with simply identifying potential RF hazards. This can be done by visual inspection of the area and communicating with surrounding structures that may have unseen sources of RF radiation. Once RF hazards are identified, permissible exposure levels should be clearly communicated to individuals working within an unsafe proximity to those hazards. Finally, PPE should be used by those who are unable to avoid RF exposure. RF levels are known to rise and fall throughout the workday which is why RF monitoring devices that constantly assess exposure levels are so useful. We proudly carry the new FS60 RF monitor from FieldSense, which boasts an unprecedented range of RF detection. It's lightweight, easy to use, and can be attached to any fall protection harness or tool belt. It has a frequency range of 50 megahertz to 60 gigahertz, which covers the whole spectrum from low power devices to the latest high powered 5G antennas. To learn more about the FS60 and its features, check out our dedicated video right here. Then for more RF information and solutions, contact your gear expert or head over to colsafety.com. If you found this video helpful, don't hesitate to like it and consider subscribing to our channel.